hi guys uh, welcome to my channel Vishal VFX today in this tutorial I'm just gonna uh, teach you how to remove this pipe from the footage uh, I'm gonna share uh, like my techniques uh, which I use to remove such kind of object from the footage so before starting this tutorial I'm just want to say please do like and subscribe to my channel and uh, you can comment if you uh, if you don't understand anything I'll just uh, help you out uh, help you guys out in that case so in my previous video I have uh, used uh, a tracker a 2D tracker to solve that uh, to remove that wire from the footage but as you can see we have a lot of parallax in this footage so it won't be like uh, like there are a lot of jittering as well uh, so it won't be easy for us to like uh, do a manual tracking in this such cases so for such cases what we can do uh, we can uh, use a camera tracker like a 3d camera tracker and then we can just uh, uh, project our uh, paint clean up image over here then we can project uh, on a card and then we can uh, use that so let's get started we're gonna take uh, for before starting this uh, any project or any f uh, working on any pro uh, footage uh, you need to check like uh, your project is set or uh, is set to HD like your footage resolution as well as your frame range cool so I'm gonna take a camera track over here So first I need to check like uh, which are the things that can give a camera wrong information. So as you can see over here, this region can give a camera wrong information because it's like it's it would be have very difficult for the camera right now over here for it's uh, to uh, differentiate between the points. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna ro mask this thing out as well as uh, as you can see over here this as well as I'm gonna mask this thing out like it would be difficult for the camera to judge so what we're gonna si do simply over here we just gonna track a whole image like from over here okay so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna do a rough road over here If you don't understand this why I am doing this uh, so you can check like my previous video uh, tutorial for compositing I have disc I have explained uh, this thing uh, very precisely in that video you can see that well that's cool I'm just gonna mask this thing over here I'm gonna go in camera tracker mask alpha check my frame range then I'm gonna go in auto tracker settings then I'm just gonna like add feature how much I try a track would uh, I want in this footage I'm just gonna say preview so that I can see that uh, which are the regions where uh, points are uh, available simple yeah so what we're gonna do we just gonna hit track meanwhile if you have any certain issues like if you're facing any difficulties in your shots like you're doing so you can ask me uh, uh, below in my description I have just gonna uh, give my link to uh, give my link for Facebook as well as LinkedIn uh, where, where you can contact me and uh, ask certain questions
so as you can see there uh, there is a lot of parallax over here as well as uh, camera shake so let's see how nuke works in this case because uh, all we have already uh, given a proper information to the camera that uh, you, sh you should not uh, track this certain region over here as well as this so it would have made difficult for the camera to uh, judge the parallax so you need to understand that when we should use a camera tracker and or when we can use tracker simply if you have if your footage have panning uh, like just it's a panning it doesn't have a parallax so you can use a 2d tracker so it's gonna help you a lot over there so there is no need for a camera tracker over in s that cases but in certain cases like this uh, in this footage you have to use a ca camera tracker so it would be very easy for you guys to uh, clean certain things uh, like paint out certain things over here I'm gonna uh, upload this video as well like uh, this footage to for uh, you guys to practice uh, please don't uh, use it for commercial or like your uh, for your tutorial purpose uh, it's okay so I'm just gonna solve this camera let's see how much error do we get so it's cool we have like 1.35 but basically uh, if you ask a 3D machine what is like a so uh, what must be the error for the camera so he would always suggest you that it must be below uh, 1 so what we gonna do uh, we go just gonna go in our auto track we gonna select this 3 focal length position rotation so we gonna just delete rejected points and delete unsolved points so uh, what I'm gonna do over here so first thing you need to have backup for this camera tracker so because we can't undo this thing I'm just gonna give a value of 4 and uh, to 3 so that we have a proper error over here so let's check it's like 1.05 so what we can do we just gonna go one more and delete unsolved so define solve So now we have 0.85 error. Delete rejected. Okay. So we have a complete smooth track over here. So below one. So what I'm gonna do? We I'm just gonna check it in 3D space. But as you can see over here, we don't have a ground plane set over here. So, like, if I create a camera over here. So you can see a camera is over here and a ground is over here. So what we need to do is like we have to set our ground plane first. So because uh, like we can place a card properly over here to project it or else it would may get difficult for you guys to uh, like place a, your card perfectly in this position so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go over here and like be, uh, what we can do is just select uh, three points which have um, like minimum error over here so it's like this have 0 0.220 it's have uh, this have a lot uh, 1.0 so I won't select this one it's basically this is good as well I'm gonna check for this so what we're gonna do I'm just gonna s set ground plane so now you can see a ground plane is set I'm just gonna delete this camera I'm just gonna take a new camera over here okay so it's seems to have like something went wrong over there because of that we have uh, like a camera in the reverse direction but it's okay we can use this as well so 
so like we need to create a clean plate first uh, I'm just gonna copy paste this footage I'm gonna like frame hold and uh, like first frame so I can use this texture over here I'm just gonna rotate this thing I'm just gonna select uh, this one over here first and then that one I always like to use this technique or else uh, what you can do is just we can also do this one like none and RGBA so what we have is like this texture as well we can do this as well but I always like to use this one so we just gonna check so what you have to do like uh, on first frame you have to just uh, uh, paint out this thing over here so I'm just gonna take a tracker I'm oh sorry transform I'm just gonna place as much as pressure as I can over here out uh, perfect like so you need to match this thing perfectly it's okay for now yeah okay cool uh, we have to create this texture as well so I'm gonna just use as much as possible for me like this texture for this I have to take a new one what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna use this one uh, only and place it over here copy paste this thing I'm gonna delete it now what I'm gonna do is just drag it down full stuff I'm just gonna have a roto rough roto so that I have this texture precisely okay so but uh, we need to align this line as well so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna take a grid warp transform I'm just gonna like 
place this precisely as much as like I'm gonna align this grid lines as much as possible so well that's good now I'm just gonna give one value is a certain and yeah okay here perfect well uh, I don't require this thing so uh, what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna delete this one over here oh yeah no perfect and delete this unwanted region so I have control for this one I'm just gonna give a one key to this now we're gonna come over here so we have control and we can align our line over here preferably Same goes for this one. As well as for this one. now we have like a perfect over here so I'm just gonna blur this thing so we don't see like twenty would be perfect and like fifth twelve okay so let's check how this thing is working we're gonna take we're gonna create a scene like we have a camera tag over here scene we're gonna create a card um, I need to click ID so that I have over this five I have a much bigger card well it's good we're gonna take a project camera like project 3d I'm just like one thing you need to remember always that uh, if you have frame hold one then your project frame must be one okay so if you have like uh, I've created plate from uh, like 15 frame and you're giving uh, frame uh, projecting by frame one so you won't have a proper alignment over there I'm just gonna take a scale and render scene camera oh, uh, sorry my bad like if you have it like frame fit 15 or 20 so you can see you have you don't have uh, properly aligned this so you need to always take care of this that which frame you're using like uh, for your paint clean up so now we have this now we need to check our track So as you can see there is a slightly slide over here so we have a grid bar for that thing uh, we can just align that thing in over here
we need to as well as create a much bigger patch so that we can fill this thing over here so you need to keep a uh, certain thing in mind like uh, if it's like if your camera is working like approximate about 70% also for you guys then like 30% can be done manually because uh, it, it saves lots of work like this certain techniques uh, saves uh, your, your lot of work instead of going for manual or uh, p uh, paint out per each frame every time so it it's like a headache for you guys so as you can see still we have a good camera over here not perfect but good if you have a camera like uh, 3D your department have provided your camera so it, it's like it's fantastic for you guys you can use that or else what you can do just try to get uh, as much as perfect camera you can in, uh, with the help of camera tracker so in this case it's not required for uh, us so what I'm gonna do like I'm just gonna go for like each 50 frames I'm just, just gonna align this thing uh, with the help of my grid bump I'm just gonna go over here align this As well as in industry, this is the way that we work. Uh, like, if we have a uh, like rough, we can get uh, approximate like close to enough camera so that there lo are lots of work for tracking is safe. So I'm just gonna go here, hundred frame over here. We'll align it as much as possible for you guys. frame ah, it's quite I don't know why my system is getting hanged So as you can see we need to create a bigger shadow or like bigger patch to remove this shadow as well. I'm also gonna tell the like uh, how the quality check is done uh, in industry for you guys to understand like in a view what are the things you need to take care of. So power of this frame, it's done. About this frame, I'm just gonna come over here. No, I don't know why this buffering is happening right now. Might be some system issue, but it's okay.
shortcut for this uh, is like uh, your numerical keys 8462 you can just like do it with the help of your keys well, that's good last frame perfect I'm just gonna do the first stream okay no I have need to like increase my paint uh, roto region so that I have I can have uh, removed the shadows as well so it's become easy for me as well I, I can take a lot of this region from a certain frames over here so now you can see we have this repeated repetitive uh, texture over here but it's okay and we just can paint that thing out and now what we can do is like we can blur it to 30 some approximate or maybe okay now we have like we don't need such a bigger patch uh, such bigger this thing so what we're gonna do is gonna take this clear my cash okay Just a second. There's some kind of issue. Uh, there was some issue with nuke. It wasn't buffering, so I just restarted the nuke over here. So now we can see we have texture, which is quite like we can fix this thing with the. Uh, I have already told you guys how to fix certain things. So like now our issue is like we have a repetitive texture so what I'm gonna do we just gonna take a paint which is the perfect way we're just gonna kill the repetitive texture nothing else like this is a repetitive this can be a repetitive so just try to kill those off it's a part of QC and you need to always give a life of all frames to them so now we have a paint work done and we don't have any repetitive texture so I'm just gonna play this thing now the second thing which uh, we have to do is like we need to grade this thing so that it looks blended over here so it's like as you can see over here we this thing is popping out like it's bright and there are certain regions over here as well so what we gonna do I'm just gonna take a grade node over here so this is a part of QC that you need to always take care like color and uh, and everything so you can see this thing this patch is uh, 
brighter than this so what we're gonna do we gonna just like check in channels and uh, what is it where is it okay we're just gonna key it as well we're gonna take a one more grid uh, I'm gonna take a roto hold on yeah good sorry guys for my system issues but still we're gonna carry we I'm just gonna mask this thing over here to like this frame click to no non click so I'm just gonna create this thing and I'm just gonna check in channel okay can see we need to we can like no what I'm gonna do is like 0 0.6 0 0.6 0 0.6 for now and there's a blue haze over here so I'm just gonna add it uh, later on the same way okay let me check it Now it seems perfect, but one thing is missing over here is like is a motion. So for that, what we're gonna do? We're gonna take motion 3D, um, or else you can do it from multi sample. But uh, with the help of motion 3D, you can fix the artifacts which you uh, like. I'm go just gonna show you that uh, which always happen with that we don't have a proper motion blur blur from the uh, camera so we need to always tweak it uh, as much as possible so I'm just gonna take motion 3d I'm gonna take a vector blur not this one so I'm just gonna update this so we have access to all nuke uh, like uh, six seven eight uh, nodes like a uh, previous version nuke nodes I'm just gonna set the motion so that we have motion so what uh, we need to do over here just see I don't know why, what happened to my nuke today like three so you can see we have a motion blow over here so but we need to keep uh, like we need to key this uh, for certain things so that we have a proper motion over here properly for the camera as you can see we don't have it properly so we, you need to like uh, do it from manually like tweak this UV values as well and it's a uh, time consuming work for you guys so now you can see we have achieved uh, almost uh, approximately the results so first we need to like roto out this thing I'm just gonna take a roto it would be a like rough roto for around now I'm gonna take this roto and I'm just gonna stand still this thing cool now you can see we don't have like uh, s color is not matched over here but it's matched till over here so what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna go in grid take a grid take a roto once more just a second so now we go on go in our channels and pick this thing So 
we have like approximately reached that thing uh, we just gonna reduce the blue to so we have this now what you need to do over here is so that's why like I don't like to use this we need to blur this texture okay oh yeah I'm just gonna like blur this texture so it's get it gets properly blend over here in this case okay still it's not matching so what I'm gonna do like create this thing RGB and three multiply by RGB alpha so it doesn't affect outside region red as well I'm just gonna like mix this value so it's working now as you can see or we need to add like variation for this texture like this pattern over here so it seems properly over here because now right now what you can see is like we don't have a proper texture so we need to sharp this image as well now we're gonna split this thing so you can see we don't have a much issue right now so now you can see we have like uh, this uh, texture so what you can do is like you can uh, like this is okay so you can use uh, this technique by as part wise you can use this first over here uh, select this as uh, frame hold this for first frame number one then uh, you can use your last frame uh, two to six for the, uh, this region so that you don't have like this pixelation issue or uh, so well uh, this is happening because as you can see over here we have a texture over here but for over here this is getting stretched over here so what else we can do in uh, like paint technique uh, we can like use this frame for uh, this frame and we can have a proper texture over here so it's like uh, you can uh, scale down your texture it won't affect the texture but if you scale up it like if you increase the scale size then you can see such kind of artifacts so what happening over here right now is like we have projected it on the first frame so we have this uh, small region like a small small texture over here but ultimately what what's happening right now over here these pixels are getting stretched because of that only so it's like a simple technique you can uh, use this same method for this region to help you out in such case okay so thank you guys hope you learned everything from this uh, tutorial if you find like uh, any if you have any kind of issue you can ask me uh, on my uh, facebook uh, as well as on linkedin you can contact me strictly over there so please please guys do subscribe to my channel so that i if i upload a new tutorial you can have access to that uh, and please click on the bell button as well so thank you guys